is the promise of God. He says, I am with you until the end of age. I am with you each and every day of your life, each and every second of your life. There is no even a single second or minute that God is not with you. He is said, I am with you always until the end of age. You see, Jesus Christ, he went through a lot of suffering while he was here on earth. He went through a lot of pain. He experienced terrible pain, excruciating pain. He even felt the pain of being abandoned while he was up there in the cross. And now because God, Jesus Christ, he went through every pain, every bad experiences, he is there with you always so that you don't have to go through what he went through. And because Jesus Christ, he went through all these evil experiences, he knows when it, is, when it hurts. He knows when you are hating. He knows when you are crying. He knows when you are feeling pain. And the same God, same Jesus Christ, who is at the right hand of God, interceding on our behalf, he is hearing your cries. He is seeing your tears. He is seeing that pain in your heart. And the very same Jesus Christ, for he cares for you, he will make sure that he heals your broken hearts. He cares about you. He loves you so much. That is why there is nothing which can have ever happen to you, Christian, without the knowledge of God. Everything before that happens to you, God knows everything. He knows everything. And he will never allow anything which is above you to come your way. Everything that God allows to happen in your life, God knows that you can handle it. He knows that it will never make you to commit suicide. He knows that it will never break your heart. But you will stand as a conqueror. The psalmist in Psalm 34, 17 says, The righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. You cry, and God delivers you out of all your troubles. He delivers you not to some of the troubles, not to one of your troubles, but to every situation that you are facing. When you cry unto God, when you are a righteous before the eyes of God, God will deliver you. He will save you. He will remove you from that situation. Now, what is it that you are going through, child of God? Are you going through pains? Are you going through the headache? What is that that is making you to cry? What is that thing that is making you not to sleep at night? Are you crying? Are you weeping day and night? Are you discouraged? Are you confused? Are you desperate? Remember even Jesus Christ, he wept by the time when Lazarus died. Why was Jesus Christ crying? It was because Jesus Christ, he was overcome with sorrow because of the death of his friend Lazarus. Even you, when you are hurt, it is okay. Cry to God. Call on God. Allow God to see your tears. And God will come and wipe away your tears for he has promised to wipe away each and every tear that will fall out of your eyes. In 2 Kings chapter 20, King Hezekiel, he became so sick to the point of death. And the prophet Isaiah was sent by God to visit him. And the prophet, when he visited the king, the moment he came face to face with King Hezekiah, the prophet gave the king the message from God. And what was the message from God through the prophet? The prophet said to the king, the message was, you are going to die. You will never recover from this illness. Imagine receiving such a message that you are going to die. You are never going to get healed. That was the message from the prophet to the king. And when Hezekiah heard this, the Bible says he turned his face to the wall and then he prayed to God. He broke down and he wept bitterly. Imagine the king, he cried to God because he heard the message that he is going to die. He will never get healed. And the prophet left the king who was weeping like a little baby. Now the Bible says the tears of the king, they touched the heart of God. And God said to his prophet, 
turn and go back to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, and tell him that I have heard his prayers, I have seen his tears, and this is what I'm going to do. I will heal you. I will also add 15 years on top of your life, and not only that, and I will also rescue you from all of your enemies. Imagine, the psalmist says in Psalm 34, 6, I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Christian church of God, learn to pray to God when you are in a desperate moment. God will hear your prayers. He will answer your prayers. He will free you from all the anguish. He will free you from all your pains. He will free you from all the temptation. He will remove all your worries. Pray to God. He will answer you. In your prayers, Take all your worries and cares to God. For God, he cares for you. In Isaiah 43, verse 2 to 3, God says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. For I am the Lord, your God. People of God, as you are passing through the deep waters of your situation, all your circumstances, be encouraged. God is with you. He has made a promise that you will never drown in those waters. He will deliver you. He will rescue you. He will rescue you the very same way as Jesus Christ rescued Peter as he was about to drown while he was attempting to walk on top of the water. The same God who rescued Peter and held him by his hand, he will also deliver you. Have a hope in God. Be encouraged through the word of God. Why? For nothing is impossible with our God. So Christian, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't be discouraged. With God, there is always hope. With God, there is always a tomorrow. With God, there is always a future. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God says what? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God is having this wonderful plan for you. And what is that plan? God says, my plans, they are always good for you. 